The rollout of vaccines in Canada is slowly ramping up, and there's criticism it's not happening fast enough. Only two vaccines are approved for use in Canada, though there are agreements to buy five other vaccine candidates still in the approval pipeline. One of them is Canadian. Metacago is a Quebec-based company using new technology. As Carolyn Jarvis explains, it could be a breakthrough for vaccine science. Under the hum of industrial fans, row upon row of a hardy weed grows. It's called Nicotiana benthamiana, a cousin of the tobacco plant, which is key to Quebec-based company Medicago's COVID-19 vaccine candidate. I'm not just optimistic, I'm confident that it will work. The plant is used to create the COVID-19 spike protein and wraps it in a virus-like particle. The host, the human who gets that, sees that as, oh, that looks like a virus. Um, and because it looks like a virus, the immune system responds very well to it. In phase one of its clinical study, people who received two doses of Medicago's vaccine showed a significant immune response. People who've just, who are recovering from infection have this many antibodies, and people who get our vaccine have that many antibodies. That's pretty good. We're very happy with that. No plant-based vaccine has ever reached the commercial level. Medicago is set to enter phase three of its trials later this month, and if successful, could provide doses to Canadians by the second half of this year. If it's approved for use, the bulk of Medicago's doses won't initially come from Canada. That's because despite years of lobbying the federal government for funding for pandemic preparedness and to build a manufacturing plant in Canada, the money Medicago needed didn't come in time. The reality is it took COVID to get a decision made for whatever reason. And I think this is what we have been talking to them about for, for uh, months and years. This is about securing potential vaccines for Canadians. It wasn't until this past October that the federal government announced $173 million to support Medicago's vaccine and to accelerate the building of its production plant in Quebec City. But plants take years to build. And this one won't be ready until the end of 2023. It didn't need to be this way, frankly. In the meantime, Canada's vaccine, if approved, will mostly come from the U.S., from a facility it funded back in 2010, when it saw a need for pandemic preparedness. It's good that the Canadian government is now supporting a Canadian company since the U.S. government supported the Canadian company first. Carolyn Jarvis, Global News, Toronto.